If you're working on Windows and you want to build Laravel applications, I highly recommend the server program Laragon. Laragon comes with everything you need to build a Laravel application, including a Apache web server, PHP, a MySQL database, and Composer for dependency management. To get started, go to laragon.org and find the download page, and then download the full version. In my downloads folder, I will find the Laragon installer that I just downloaded and double click it to get started. When my computer asks for permissions to run the installer, I'll click yes. I'll leave it as the default setup language of English and click OK. I'll leave the default install location of my C drive under the directory name of Laragon. And then for these three options, I'm going to leave them checked. I do want Laragon to start anytime Windows boots up. I do want auto virtual hosts. This is going to make it so that when I create new applications in Laragon, it's going to set them up automatically with .test domains. And this is actually one of the really nice features of Laragon, so I definitely want to make sure that's enabled. And then finally, there's an option to quickly open things like Notepad and Terminal uh, directly from Laragon, so you can choose to leave that on or off. Let's go to the next step. We've got a summary of our settings, so we'll go ahead and click Install. With installation complete, I'll click Finish. And let me close out some of my other windows so we can focus on the Laragon interface. And the first thing we want to do is click Start All. This is going to start our servers. If all went well, we should see Apache has started as well as the MySQL database server. And towards the end of this video, I'll give a quick tour of the different features and menu options within Laragon, but I really want to get straight to the point here and just create our first Laravel application. So I'm going to right click on the interface, go to Quick Add and choose Laravel. I'll give my project name, I'll just call it Demo. Laragon opens up a command line window and goes through the installation process for setting up a new Laravel application. Right now we can see Composer pulling in all of Laravel's outside dependencies. With that process complete, we can see the directory where our application was installed, and then the URL we should be able to access it in the browser with. Uh, but let's test this out, and I'm going to bring up my browser. I'm going to go to demo.test, and what we should be seeing right now is the default welcome page that every Laravel application has. Instead, what we're seeing is the full directory contents of our application, and that's not what we want. Now, the reason this is happening is whenever you set up a Laravel application, you don't want to just point your server to the root directory of that application. You want to go one step further and point it to this public subdirectory. And just as evidence of this, if I go to the public subdirectory, you can see the welcome page we're expecting with the new Laravel application. Um, that's what we should be seeing when we just go to demo.test. So to fix this, we have a little bit of a configuration change we need to make. So I'm going to bring up Laragon. I'm going to right click the interface. Go to Apache, Sites Enabled, and then we're going to open up our Sites Enabled directory. Within here, we see a file called auto.demo.test. This was a config file that Laragon created for us when we set up this new Laravel application. And if we open up this file, we can see the Apache site configs for this application. All right, and here's the problem. The document root is just pointing to the application itself. But remember, we have to go one step further into the public subdirectory. So we want to change that for the document root and also this line where it's referencing that directory. We also want to say public. With that correction in place, I'm going to save my changes to this file. I'm going to go back to Laragon and restart my servers by clicking Stop and then Start All. And now let's go back to the browser and try to go to just demo.test. And perfect, there's our welcome page without having to go to that public subdirectory. Moving on, let's talk about our database connection. With Laragon, we get a MySQL database server, which uh, should be running. And so we just want to make sure that this application is configured correctly to connect to that database and that we are able to uh, demonstrate that the connection is successful. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's pull up our application code base in a code editor. I'm going to bring up my code editor, VS Code. I'm going to go to File, Open Folder, go to my C drive, my Laragon directory, the www directory, and find my demo application. We're going to open that folder, and then I want to find the .env file. This is a configuration file that exists in the root of our application and it contains configurations that are going to be specific to our application in whatever context it's running. So right now I'm in this local development environment, so all of my configurations in here should be related to my local development environment. Uh, we're focusing right now on our database connection details, so you can see the connection type we're choosing is MySQL. This is the host it's going to try to connect on, the port number, the name of the database it's going to be working with, as well as the credentials for that database. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and rename the database to name it after the application itself. So I'm just going to call it demo. And then I can actually leave all the other configs as written because these coincide perfectly with the default configurations that Laragon's MySQL comes with. So I really shouldn't have to change anything just to make this connection. To test that the connection works, I'm going to run my migrations. So within my database directory is a migration subdirectory and every new Laravel application comes with some default migrations to set up some standard tables, things like your users table. So if I run this migration, what this should do is on my database system, it should create a new table called users within my demo database. And if I'm able to successfully run that migration, we know that this application is able to successfully communicate with my database on that MySQL server. All right, now how do we do this? Well, let's go over to Laragon. I'm gonna bring up the terminal. This is gonna open a program called Commander that comes with Laragon. By default, it puts us in our Laragon www directory. So I'm gonna move into my demo directory. And within here to run my migrations, I'm gonna run PHP Artisan. PHP Artisan is Laravel's built-in command line tool. And the specific command we wanna run in this case is migrate. Based on the configs I said a moment ago, it's gonna be looking for a database called demo, but it doesn't see that. So it's gonna ask if it should create that database for me. I'm gonna type yes and hit enter. And then after creating that database, you can see it successfully ran my migrations, creating things like my users table. Just to confirm that worked, we can go into MySQL command line mode with the command mysql-u, where we're gonna indicate the user and we're gonna connect as the root user. Then at the mysql command prompt, to see our databases, we can run the command show databases. And amongst some default system-wide databases, we should see our demo database. If we run the command use demo, we can select that database, and then we can run the command show tables to output the list of tables in this database. And amongst our other default tables that come with Laravel applications, we do see that users table. So with that confirmed, I'm gonna run the command exit to get out of the MySQL command prompt. And let's switch back to the code editor just to do a little bit of customization to this application. So coming back to the .env file, I can fill in things like the app name, I can change the app URL in this context, that's gonna be demo.test. And then you can adjust these other settings as you come across the features that they're related to. The other thing I'd like to customize is just that default welcome page we see when we visit the application. To do this, let's track down where that's coming from. So I'm gonna go into my routes file, my web.php file, and you can see this is our main route. It's returning a view called welcome. So that's what we're gonna edit. Where we're gonna find our views is we're gonna go into resources, views, and we see our welcome view under the name of welcome.blade.php. Opening this up is all of that content we saw on that welcome page. So I'm just gonna delete all of that and put in a basic HTML template. I'll fill in a title and I'll put an H1 on the page. I'll save those changes and then going back to the browser, we'll refresh and perfect. Our first noticeable customization on the output of this application. Now, in regards to working within this application itself, that's as far as we're going to go in this video. Uh, the goal of this video was just to get the application up and running in the Laragon context. If you want more guidance on just working in Laravel in general, I do have a series called Laravel in a Nutshell. That's a great place to get started. But in terms of wrapping up our goals in this video, I do want to return to the Laragon interface and just point out a few things. The first is just that Laragon is highly customizable. So if you go into click the gear icon, you'll see a bunch of different settings you can work with. Also, if you right click on the interface, you can go in and look at settings for the individual technologies you're working with within Laragon. You can also quickly add other technologies. So for example, if we go into tools and then quick add, you can see some other uh, integrations you could pull in. Let's say you wanted to manage your database via something like PHP MyAdmin with one click, you could get that set up. So my recommendation is just to spend a little time poking around the interface and seeing what options are available. Might not be things that you need to mess with uh, immediately, but as you get further into the development process, it might become handy to know that uh, certain features and options exist within Laragon. So hopefully this video helped you out if you're just getting started with Laravel and working in a context like Laragon. If anything I showed in this video didn't work on your end as I showed it, feel free to leave a comment below describing the issue that you had and I can try to point you in the right direction.